evidence in inflation. Inflation is our today's topic. Uh, you already know inflation is the uh, constant uh, uh, increase in most of your commodities or things in your market uh, prices. Uh, as it is retained, inflation is at a general level of price of energy security, which means not everything is uh, got expensive, something might uh, uh, got lower in a specific period of time, which is usually in one year. We compare one year to previous year. Um, as the cost of goods and services increase, the value of currency declines. It's not that you um, how it declines because you have the same 100 rupees in your hand, but uh, five years ago, you could have got, you know, a different thing with your, uh, that 500 rupees. And now with that same 100 rupees, you can't buy that. Um, for instance, uh, I will give you an example. In two, uh, year 2000, uh, um, there was a property which was of 500,000, I slap which you would call uh, five flat. Now that property is uh, more than five million. So, so it, it means that if you have same, if not you are thinking that I have 500,000, now I have gathered, thanks God I have gathered 500,000, but now uh, you don't have even the advance payment to pay or even if you want to pay the in installments. Inflation is actually the rise in the prices and that prices is usually not going to go back. This is not a volatile inflation. Uh, there are different uh, uh, inflation measures, but uh, we, you will be having only the consumer price index with you. Uh, uh, consumer price index, we will take a basket uh, or a uh, different uh, goods. Nobody can, this is been taken by central bank, which is uh, uh, Shadowing of Pakistan in our case. And um, obviously there are millions and millions of things, so everything can't be taken. But the more, uh, the things usually which are mostly, let's say, if we go into vegetable, obviously we will take up uh, potato, but that is being going to be uh, uh, sold and bought. Then we will um, go into then rice and things like that. If we go into edibles and things like that. So according to that, then we um, attach to how uh, much uh, time they are bought and sold and about the value. That is uh, actually a more uh, uh, difficult of a formula. And then uh, we make uh, one year is the base year. Let's say if we want to say that how much uh, inflation is uh, being done from 2018 to 2019, then we will make 2018 as a base year and we will win. Uh, we will not. Uh, just to just have a comparison to weight price index and CP index, just for the knowledge actually. There's actually, you see, we will um, put a hundred dollar mark or hundred PKR mark or hundred unit mark for. It's actually just how much weightage you will give, give to both sides actually. So, uh, in CPI actually you uh, would uh, uh, not accommodate uh, non food uh, 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 you will uh, put uh, more emphasis on food article as well if you see uh, there is only 15 percent emphasis on food article but more weighted in cpi but that is the case uh, Pakistan says that it is used cpi but it is still used wpi that is why we show only say 14 percent or 8 percent inflation but independent um, uh, economists say it is at least 26 to 38 percent of inflation. It means that if you have, let's say, 100 rupees last year uh, and you have 100 rupees this year, your 100 rupees have lost value of at least 20 percent. Now your 
same hundred rupees have a buying power of eighty rupees comparing to the last year. Um, this food, uh, non-food, uh, this is actually your basket. Actually, this is uh, a weight. After giving weight and multiplication, you have arrived at food uh, is fifty-seven and everything. This is so for this is the CPF current year next year. Maybe the food becomes 57 to 62, non food becomes 70. So maybe the next year it 100 becomes 112. So when we put 112 upon 100 into 100, uh, we will have a 12% uh, uh, inflation. Remember that. Uh, this is uh, actually not part of your syllabus, but it can. Uh, uh, work for you. Some people wants to know that when I taught uh, nominal and real uh, GDP, how can you uh, nominal GDP to real GDP? So you can put this uh, uh, formula there, but this is not part of your syllabus, just for the sake of the knowledge. This is not a, even of your knowledge, but I like to give little knowledge to my students. Over inflation is the inflation that once a cut it usually does not go back then if you understand that uh, the bread will never go back uh, let's say 10 rupees you understand that it will never 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 go back below seven if you know that your petrol will never go back below, uh, below 50 again so these are the core figures of uh, uh, every commodity that this is core inflation once they have crossed the threshold it will not uh, headline inflation is actually uh, is the uh, volatile inflation and if the government of any country uh, able to capture uh, um, and uh, focus on the uh, inflation that just occurred and understand it that uh, it is temporary and it's going to be uh, the problem going to be solved itself uh, or if it is not going to be um, if government fail to identify that it, this problem is um, turning into going to be turned into a core inflation and it's not going to uh, and they think that it's a headline inflation and it's going to be solved itself then they have a judgment problem um, um, and it will change into a core inflation and core inflation is the inflation that actually damages the economy now this is part of your syllabus very important part of your syllabus actually inflation occurs due to these two, two phenomena demand pull inflation and cost push inflation cost push inflation further is being divided um, even a one volume imported inflation actually this is uh, that is also a cost push inflation demand for inflation is actually what if uh, people have uh, to have a very good lifestyle of government had uh, uh, um, a short run or long run is not part of your syllabus because it's a little bit uh, 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 a level syllabus but remember that uh, if uh, people have either government have uh, issued new money notes and the salaries has been increased or you know most of your people have uh, actually uh, either uh, town people have went to city and having a good money and start buying things or the people of country have uh, went abroad in uh, limiting uh, in uh, this phenomenon occurred in Pakistan, uh, people from southern Punjab and uh, some area coming to Karachi and Lahore and having jobs of so people of Karachi and Lahore going abroad and uh, having jobs and limiting uh, even uh, from the towns going to Gulf and limiting back. So having up too much money and too many uh, less of a supply of things and ready to pay anything uh, for a thing. So obviously, if uh, people have money, supplier will uh, charge more and if you have, are ready to pay more, they will keep 
putting uh, uh, up the putting up the prices uh, so this will cause inflation so this is the inflation when uh, too much money chasing too little of a things meaning uh, demand is greater than your supply if you can look at the example um, it, uh, if you see that uh, uh, demand is increased from uh, a to b even when price is increasing really what happens when price increases your demand decreases but in this case what happens even when the price is increasing p to p1 the demand is still shifts rightward this is usually um, does not happen but if uh, in a real gdp or gdp in a short run it looks beautiful that your gdp is increasing uh, but at the same time inflation is occurring that is the time when governments have to uh, you know this is when, when your country is moving towards boom position we also call it heating up of the economy so when government use different tools which we will be study uh, in a little while that how do you must uh, control that so that uh, the economy does not contract too much but at the same time inflation does not go beyond the control of the government uh, uh, it is have written that uh, this is a little bit uh, uh, that there would be a time that uh, p to p1 obviously shift from a to p but when p1 to p2 then there is a movement towards p to c that now remember that a to b is shift rightwards remember from yesterday that is shift from rightwards up till now uh, it was even if there was a inflation there was a economic growth as well but when you move from p1 to p2 in long run p to c if you look at that now you uh, you are economic growth has uh, declined if you look that you are again move from y1 to y remember that that's why i'm saying that inflation if going go going for too much time uh, at the end of the day people will not be able to buy when people will not be able to buy uh, supply has created according to the new created demand now the demand will diminish but when the supply try to diminish it will cause uh, closure of industries taxation will uh, diminish unemployment will increase and uh, uh, obviously that it is the demise of uh, uh, gdp so in the long term uh, that in demand for inflation if uh, not controlled short term it will cause uh, it's nothing alarming it will cause uh, if you will i will show it uh, go back from a to b it's good because it is a little bit inflation but it is causing the economy to grow it that time it is little bit good but in a long run if you let it go like that demand for inflation because at the end of the day supply increasing supply is uh, you know it's not possible for any country you cannot you know you have a limited labor you have limited supply of uh, capital monetary resources equipment and everything so you have to remember that so before we will uh, move on to the uh, we have to be keeping that in mind